What's going on, my visionary dreamers? Adion back at y'all with another self accountability challenge. Today's challenge is eh, something that's very hard for some of us forgiveness and apologize. Apologize and forgiveness or apologies and forgiveness. You know, guys, we go through so much in life and we experience so many different people throughout our life. So many different attitudes, behaviors, and you know, it's all a part of our growth at the end of the day. You know, when people do things to us, we look at it as, you know, if it hurts us or disappoint us or, you know, I don't know, make us just feel some type of way. Sometimes we can't see past that. Sometimes we forget that there have been points in our lives that we have too disappointed or done something to someone to hurt their feelings. And sometimes we don't even know it. Sometimes we don't even acknowledge it if we know it due to pride and ego and things of that nature, you know. Um, But I challenge you today to apologize to someone that you know you've wronged in some type of way. Um, To forgive someone that you have been holding on to unforgiveness for days, months, years. It doesn't serve us, guys. It does not serve our higher good. It doesn't serve our health to be in any type of negative energy. Rather, it's holding on to something um, that has passed, you know? That's the key thing. It has passed. It's done. Whatever it is, it's done. It's over. I'm not saying that you have to physically apologize to people. Some people you might not be able to be in physical contact with or some people have gone gone on to the next life transition so i say if you're in that position still apologize send it up send love up to their spirit send love to that person i know that might sound crazy but i'm gonna tell you there was a time that i was like that that i just didn't want to forgive and um you know, I'm pretty much a cut-off person, but I'm a cut-off person at this point in my life because of energy. I got to protect my energy. And I feel like I have forgiven everyone that has wronged me, even though I have not received apologies from them in a physical form or in a verbal form. And some people are back in my life and I still feel like I deserve an apology more than what they're given. But Nevertheless, if people are in my life and they mean good for me and they're bringing me good energy, then I'm good, okay? Um, Some people, like I said, they fight pride and ego. And that's all a part of growth. That's all a part of leveling up and learning who you truly are, learning how to connect to your higher self, and learning what serves you best, okay? So I'm going to leave you guys with that because this video is getting long. Um, Forgive someone today. Y'all know this sun be out here for me. It be out here for me. Look at it. (laughs) I love it. Y'all need to get out in some sun. It's kind of cold though. Um, But forgive, let go, release. Um, Move on from what has been done. Even if you don't receive an apology from what you know, Um, someone needs to apologize to you about do it for yourself that's what forgiveness is about it's for yourself because the longer you hold on to unforgiveness the more it affects your body and the greater chance that you will bring this ease to your body this ease meaning disease to your body okay guys and we don't want that it's not worth it no one's worth it so I'm going to sign off. Make sure you comment below. Let me know. Um, Even if you don't want to share who you need to forgive or who needs to forgive you or whatever, 
just um comment below and let me know if you are truly headed towards that direction and forgiving and apologizing to people that you know you have done wrong okay so till next one i love you guys <laughs>